Right now I'm standing outside of Detroit Sponge in Wixom, Michigan. This place is like the window cleaning warehouse. They have all the window cleaning tools you could possibly need to get started in a business and even grow and advance your business. Like this place has everything. I came in here five years ago, like scared out of my wits, broke and terrified trying to start a window cleaning business. And um, actually I had started with some cheap tools from Home Depot, but then I started growing. I needed some professional stuff, right? And I found out about Detroit Sponge because I heard professional window cleaners talking. Oh, you never been to Detroit Sponge? Come on, come on, you, you know. So I actually walked in here and the guy behind the counter, his name is Mike, he's the owner, is literally one of the coolest, most genuine people I've ever met in my life. And I came in here, I was nervous to ask him all these questions about window cleaning because I didn't know anything, right? I thought my questions were stupid. This guy kind of took me under his wing and spent an entire hour with me, showed me everything in the warehouse, the whole facility, how it works and I was just absolutely blown away. And I was like dumping change out on the counter and I bought my first water fed pole system. I bought window cleaning tools from him that I went out to become successful in window cleaning. Not only am I here to shop today because I need some stuff for my business, I've gotten permission from Mike to uh, take a tour and show you guys the entire inside of Detroit Sponge. Come with me. What's up, man? Hey, Keith, how you doing, man? What's up, dude? Good to see you. Thanks for coming in today. Yes, sir. You can tell us a little bit about your business? Sure. My business has been around since the 1930s. I'm actually the third generation owner, owned it since 96. And what we do basically is specialize in getting window cleaners the gear that they need, along with selling some sponges and other items as well. But nowadays, pretty much we cater to the window cleaning. Awesome. All right, so let's take a tour around the facility. I'm excited awesome. to show these guys. Come this way. Cool. So this is our counter area where people walk in just like you did five years ago. And we like to try and help them out, find out about what their needs are and be able to help them uh, kind of teach them the tools that they might need to be able to get them started in the window world. We have a variety of tools from the big manufacturers that make professional grade window cleaning tools. Professional grade meaning that they're not the things you're going to find in the retail world. They really are designed for you to use in squeegeeing in a way that's going to make you more money because the tools last longer. Yes, I learned that too because when you do buy the cheap stuff, it breaks on you, it falls apart, and then you're sitting there frustrated on a job. So this is the professional stuff and it lasts you 10 times longer. Yeah, for example, this is the Sorbo squeegee, which I know is a squeegee that you've always used, Keith. And it's designed, it's much more uh, robust than other squeegees that are out there on the market. You can see that it's a thicker channel. It has a specially designed rubber. The rubber is a big key for the professional window cleaner as if it doesn't slide on the glass without leaving a streak, it's just causing you problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the Sorbo stuff that I use, and I, these are my favorite squeegees. They're lightweight. I mean, I can clean really fast with them. Yeah, we have them in all the sizes that are available, everything from little baby squeegees of 5 inches all the way up to the real big ones of a 36-inch. Oh, wow, that's huge. And again, that's the advantage of going with a professional-grade tool is there's so many options for you to pick which one makes the most sense for your job because there are, when it comes down to it, there's the right tool to do your job. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. The right tool is the right tool. Something, something that we'll say around here. So there's all the different sizes of squeegees, as well as we have a full selection of buckets. The buckets, the rectangular style bucket usually is the tool of choice for the pro because it allows you to be able to dunk your scrubber in there sideways and be able to have this kind of work as your toolbox when you're out on the job. The color choice is kind of cool because if you, as you go, if you end up developing logos or colors for your company, there's probably a bucket that will coincide to that color and that makes it nice and just gives you more professional presentation when you're out there washing. Yeah, so all around the warehouse here, we have a variety of the same type of theme of tools from different manufacturers. So the cool thing is you can kind of pick which tools you end up liking and stick with that brand. Um, everything from Poolex. So these are a T-bar and they come two different ways. They come like this or they come where they pivot. And the tool of choice for the Pro really are the pivoting handles. It allows you so much more versatility and speed when you're out on the, on the job site. It allows you to be able to wet the window from one spot and I'm sure some of your techniques you'll show all of that stuff. But the pivoting bar makes a big difference. And the bar combines with the scrubber sleeves and there's a wide variety of those that are available as well. Everything from there are a little bit of abrasive sleeves to the super soft sleeves, sizes, everything from six inch up to the big 30 inch sleeve, which always is interesting to look at. Not many jobs that a scrubber this size would be good at, but if you think of say a car dealership or something with large plate glass, these things can really make you some time. 
Yes. Absolutely. Even down to what might look kind of weird, a small little baby scrubber like this, it really can be perfect for the right size job that you have the right size windows on. We go and this is where we have most of all of our poles all lined up. And the poles, there's a variety of sizes. The practical sizes tend to be uh, stuff for one story type work where you'll have an eight foot two section pole and this extends up. Gives you good stability, good strength. Yeah, and that's only eight feet. This is only eight feet, so it'll fit into your trunk most of the time. A lot of times in storefront work, people will end up taking an eight footer or maybe a 12 footer. Yep, so there's a variety of the poles and the manufacturers to it. You can get overwhelmed with all the choices, but if you stick with pretty much the same brand of the tools and the poles, it makes sure that all the squeegees will work together. They're pretty much universal in the professional world. But the principal lines that we represent are Ettore, Unger, Sorbo, Pulex. Those are the name brands. It was it's Ettore? Ettore is how they pronounce it, okay, yeah. E-T-T-O-R-E. Yeah, it is. Ettore. And Ettore is a great story. They're a family-owned business that's been around. They have the original patent on the squeegee. Ettore Stacconi was the owner and the founder. If you call out the customer service in Ettore still nowadays, you very well might talk to his daughter. She prefers, she's still engaged with the ownership of the business and she prefers to answer the phone and customer service. It's really cool. It's a neat story. They make as many products here in the United States as they can. They've prided themselves on their squeegee rubber over the years. So then there's more variety of buckets. Sometimes people will get into having a smaller bucket if you just need something for small inside jobs or uh, for a 14 inch scrubber, these will fit perfectly. Quite a variety of the squeegees and scrubbers and all the miscellaneous tools as well as everybody makes their own. Oh yeah, everybody makes their own. Yeah, and when you start with the basics of window cleaning, right, then you get into doing dusting for people. I actually have one of those, those are awesome. Yeah, you get into doing dusting and the static dustings, these can be put on poles where you can stick this up high and get it for people. We have the cobweb duster brush we'll show you later too. And uh, there's so many tools to show you. There's, so we talked briefly about the squeegees. There are so many different choices of handles for squeegees that will be one that fits comfortably in your hand. The pivoting is the big feature that we talked about earlier. There's also handles that will give you a little bit more of a ledge to where if the window is set back in, this would allow you to be able to finish this all the way yeah, down to the I bottom. That problem when you're doing a house or maybe even a storefront that the ledge is sticking out too far and you're like, you can't get that bottom little bit. You'll know what I mean when you start doing it or if you're not already, you need something like a ledger like that. And one of the keys is the squeegee rubber. When we talk about the squeegee, the professional grade squeegee rubber really makes a difference. It provides you with flawless performance on the job. The last thing you wanna do is have to go back in detail for a mistake where the squeegee maybe had an imperfection. So we stock all the squeegee rubbers in quantities because these are the items, these are the bread and butter. This is what the window cleaners will go through over time. And Keith, I know we're just kind of walking around and, and looking at products. This is what they call a porcupine sleeve. So these are the scrubber, but you can feel how there's little pieces of nylon, almost like fishing line that's stitched into the material. Yeah. Out on near side of town, when you have a lot of fish flies or you have a lot of bugs on the windows, these things will eat them up. They do a great job of giving you a little bit more abrasion whenever you go to scrub the window. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, so that's Better been a pretty popular. That. This is called a porcupine sleeve, and it's probably one of the most fitting names of a product that we sell. Yeah. It does look like little porcupine quills coming through the backside of the sleeve. There's one of these dusters that we were talking about too, where you can use this to get up into the corners and uh, get the cobwebs out for people. So again, it's a little add-on that you can do for people, value add, once you get your window cleaning business going. People trust you already in your house. You, there's all sorts of things and services oh, yeah. that you can I add. Make, I make, I've made a lot of money with these things. These things are awesome. And I actually use them to dust screens too, because all these little tiny, uh, what is this made out of? Nylon. The nylon bristles. fibers go through mm -hmm. each screen hole, so you can dust the screen down, wear a mask, and you're coughing and stuff. <laughs> Clean all that good stuff up. And one of the other manufacturers we represent is Unger, and uh, they have the same thing. You'll notice all the sleeves come in all sorts of different varieties. The Unger sleeve, Keith, I know this is the one that you, yeah, this is the one you've I made your money with over the years. The Monsoon. Monsoon from... Uh, not talking too much about scrapers, but all the sizes of squeegees Unger also offers. They have a whole belt system where they have different holsters that will design. I know that later on we're going to show you the holsters that are designed. What ends up happening when you're, this is designed to hold like a squeeze bottle or a spray bottle to be able to give you a little extra whatever you need on the job. Um, what happens as you go in the, in the window cleaning, then you try and figure out how to be as efficient as possible. Yes. So you end up wearing a belt that will have different accessories and holders on it that allow you to keep all your tools right with you. So for example, this is a, a bucket on a belt. It's got designed slots so that you can put your squeegees into here and your scrubbers. Yes. It allows you to be able to put this onto your person and carry it around. If you're ever getting up on a ladder or anything, these are a, these are a must. They'll save you a ton of time on the job site 
and just make you be able to be a lot less disorganized, much more organized. Yep, all sorts of neat things that are all designed. And most of these tools too, it's kind of cool because a lot of the things like that pivoting feature we talked about, it's actually designed by a window cleaner. The squeegee was on the market, the window cleaner came out and said, man, it would save me so much time and energy if I could have this thing articulate and move. So they actually approached Adderay as the manufacturer and that's where Adderay came up with the super system uh, trademark and that means the pivoting handle. So other manufacturers now have pivoting tools as well. Um, just to back up a second here, this is the, so we showed squeegee handles earlier that have angles to them. And you can see how a normal squeegee handle is more angled. There are also squeegee handles on the market which they've called zero degrees and it goes straight up and down. And as you start to use uh, squeegees a lot, these become really popular. If you're ever out and you see somebody washing the window where they're leaving this loose and snaking it on a pole or swiveling it on a pole, it'll be a squeegee that's like this, that at the top it's actually straight up and down. It's a zero degree squeegee handle. It increases your versatility, your angle quite a bit. and It'll make you move a lot faster on the job. You ever use these? I've not. These are pretty cool, pretty good sellers. And we have all sorts of the dusters and things where you get into buildings where you might need to do something over top of a pipe. Oh, These are wow. all add-ons. All sorts of different attachments and things. Yeah, Another version of a ceiling fan duster. So fan blade goes through here. Got all these microfiber little, uh, I don't know what you want to call these, all these microfiber yep. threads on there that'll grab all the dust and instead of just do. popping it off and having it poof into the air, this will actually grab that dust and make it pull it down for you. One of the newer things that Unger came out with last uh, a couple years ago were the Ninja. So they have a new scrubber that came out that's a, again the pivoting handle, but it's got a little bit uh, different sleeve to it, a little bit of abrasion mixed into the microfiber threads. Can save you time, pivoting handles again. Boy, there's so many things to show you, so many little things. I know there's a million. <laughs> there are. And we're back to our poles again, and you can see that Unger has a full line of all the poles. This is probably one of the single best-selling wow. poles that we have. Yeah, How many it's a feet is that? 30 foot. 30 foot. 30 foot. So when it's up all the way 30 feet, does the thing like like bend and wobble? Well, it it it, it, it has been known to wobble quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it, washing windows 25 feet up in the air is not easy, no matter what. Yeah. When we get into talking about the water-fed poles, you start to see some of the advancement in the technology where it really makes sense why they've invested in that. This pole is nice. You can take it apart and use it in smaller pieces so that if you ever want to use it shorter, you can. Wow. So a lot of guys people will have this in their truck and they'll know that they have the tool that they need to be able to reach for windows up high. But it's a nice pole, 30 foot extension. is about as high as you really realistically want to go. Even little things like these duster mitts that oh, we wow. have where uh, guys will use them on jobs for all sorts of things or for even keeping their trucks. It's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Be. Yep. Brushes, sometimes people will use brushes for doing miscellaneous cleaning around the, the sidings, uh, siding of houses or we have the brushes in different abrasions, abrasions. so these are softer, nice bright green brush that's oh, nice oh, and yeah. soft. The blue it's a little bit more aggressive and then we have some that are even more aggressive than that. And those are all just for add-on things for you to do it. One of the favorites too, the old timers, back before they had scrubbers, they all used bore bristle window cleaning brush. So the guy would wash the windows with these bore bristles. This is a natural bristle. So they would scrub the window with this? They would. That's oh, what wow, they would wash the window soft. with. It, it is very like, soft. Uh, like a million horse hairs or something. It's actually a bore bristle. Yep. Oh, okay. And they're, uh, yep, they're picked for their way that they function when they lay down on the glass and they scrub so well. Yeah. They come in different sizes, but even the guys on the back of scaffolds years ago on the high-rise work, they would always use the brush. And when the scrubber first came around, people thought, much like they do with the water-fed stuff, they thought, man, this doesn't work. This thing works. This, I don't want that little scrubber. But as they went, they learned to trust the scrubber more and more. And now we don't sell near as many brushes for sure. It's physics, man. <laughs> it's all simple stuff. Oh, I, mean, I got one of these things. There you go. Yeah. I put this uh, with that uh, you sold that to me, and I put that on the uh, on a pole, yep. and I was cleaning skylights with it. Yep. There's a microfiber version. What's this? This is oh, this is yeah. a white scrub pad that you can use on the, on here. This goes along a lot of times with the water-fed pole. We're able to have this up there to give you a little bit more abrasion. But what you're talking about are the microfiber pads. We walked right past those on the last aisle. We'll have to grab one off because these yeah. that are at a house or a cottage that's up around the lake, these are something that can go over top of your sleeve. It's called a Blue Devil, Blue Devil Scrubber Sleeve and it slips Blue over Devil top of it. Blue Devil Scrubber Sleeve. Yeah. yeah. It's like a tongue twister. It is. 
a little crazy, but it does give you a lot more abrasion on the job. Uh, shoe covers, you know, a lot of times people these use. Are huge. You yep. gotta get these. These are a plastic one which can be reusable. And so many times when you're out there and you pick up a little bit of moisture on your shoe, if you put that over a regular shoe cover, a regular, you put a cloth shoe cover over your shoes and they got a little moisture, you're gonna tear right through. But these, since they're plastic, give you a lot more durability and you can actually use them multiple times. We also have a variety of chemicals uh, that are all out there, things that are designed to help solve problems. You know, the chemicals are really there to, to help you out on the job. People will tell you that you can wash windows with everything from basic dish soap, but we are, there are actually solutions that are designed for window cleaning. And I know that one of them is the Glass Gleam 4. So we stock all that back here. And Glass Gleam 4 is a, is a super concentrate. So you're gonna get a lot. You're gonna get hundreds of gallons out of this one bottle of concentrate. So a little bit goes a long ways. Like we were talking earlier, the right tool for the job is really the right choice. With the Glass Gleam 4, if you mix it properly, it does a fantastic job of shining the windows without leaving the residue. And we sell it even, we make available these dispenser bottles where you can yep. meter out exactly how much you need for your buckets. Does a great job, doesn't leave the residue, gives the squeegee just the right slip to come across the glass. So it rips all the dirt and all the dirty water off the glass, leaving nothing but a shine behind. So the water fit thing has really hit the, hit the market here in the last probably about five to 10 years in the US. It's all a technology of using purified water at extreme heights or at heights to wash windows effectively. So Keith, I know this is the type of pole that you have. All the poles are telescopic, they'll extend up. They're made of, you notice they're not made of aluminum. This is the Ettore Aqua Clean. It's not all the way up. I think there's one more section up at the top. But it obviously will get you up there a long ways. You're talking second story work, maybe even some low third story work. And the rigidity, you know, it's important that it be stiff because that brush is gonna be what scrubs the window real well and gets all the dirt suspended up in the water. But the secret's in the water. The key is in the water. The water is purified so it doesn't have any impurities. So it's actually looking for dirt and particles to dissolve. All that gets pushed and loosened up by the brush on the glass. The pure water rinses that off and it doesn't leave any residue. So it's similar like when it rains outside. You notice that there's no residue on the window after it rains? It's because most of the time in a good healthy rain, the particulates all washed out of that. So it's just pure water that's on the glass. So Ettore was one of the leaders in the U.S. market back years ago in the water fed, bringing the water fed out for people. And the process now has gotten to be so portable that the system that you started with was a simple DI tank where the water flows through a deionizing resin bead. Well, the, the resin actually takes all of the, the molecules, all of the other hard minerals off of the water molecule. So it polishes the water molecule. So when it exits, there's nothing, there's no chlorine, there's no iron, there's no foreign uh, minerals on the water molecules at all. Well, now you're gonna talk about total dissolved solids and show them. Uh, there you go, that's right. <laughs> total dissolved solids and all the water chemists in the room go woohoo, right? Yeah. But in window cleaning terms, it is very important, believe it or not, to, to purify the water for window cleaning use, it's pretty sophisticated that it has to get the total dissolved solids darn, darn close to zero parts per million. The DI resin is a very cost effective way to do that. If you're just getting into it and you're just kind of getting going with it, uh, it's a great thing. There's not a lot of maintenance to it. You know, you've, you've started to use yours a lot more over the years. Oh yeah. So you can always move into a multiple stage system type environment then. So this is like your basic just to get started. Correct. That's like the lowest price for under how much? For a grand, you can get onto the pole with the 35 foot pole just under uh, for a 35 foot pole just like you have with the di tank you're looking just under a thousand bucks yeah that's the way it starts right people start with a challenge this is a great tool to help to solve that problem for you and then you'll find that there's a ton of other options that open up and other work that you can do other jobs that you can do it takes you less time to do the work it does uh, allows you to be able to have a helper with you and, and not have to worry about them knowing the exact squeegee technique so there's all sorts of building effects that you can have for your business that yeah, are all positive see it rushing and they're perfectly clean the customer's yeah. happy yeah, that's one of the things people always ask, you know, is you got to leave the customer with the, with the window still wet, but the pure water doesn't leave any residue. And as long as all of your parts are, fu are functioning properly, it really isn't going to leave any residue. And the thing in small business, in the window cleaning world specifically, is that 
you know, it's all a battle for credibility. So if the customer is trusting you to get their windows clean, you got to assure them that when you use your high tech piece of equipment, it's going to make the windows shine. And if not, you're going to take care of it anyway. So the DI systems are the simplest ones. Unger actually came out with a new version of a DI system, which is runs on the same idea. It has uh, bags of resin that are inside that make it a little bit easier when you go to change out the resin. This is what the resin is in. It's like in a nylon sack and the water oh, wow. flows through there. It feels like sand, right? Yeah. Well, it's not really by the quantity as much as it is the volume. Yeah. So, you know, all in all here, you have about a cubic foot of resin that's in their system. Wow. It's in four bags. It makes it easy to change because when the resin becomes saturated, it doesn't absorb any more stuff. Sure, you can get you from here. This is as simple as it gets, right? It's 100% resin. This is what's going to make the magic happen and, and solve all the problems of the water, purify it out. From there, you get more sophisticated. Let's say you want to start running two poles. Well, you can split the output from here and run two poles, but you're going to be limited at how high it is because gravity starts to come in effect, right? And you can't just squirt a hose up in the air and expect it to go forever. So you end up needing a pump maybe to accelerate that water and help to push it to where you could run two 40 foot poles. So if you go out to a nice size building and you're doing a whole side of the building, you can actually have two people start with poles and kind of chase each other across the surface of the pole. That way you're gaining double productivity. So the water systems start with a DI, and from there, they have figured out that you could actually use multiple stage systems to create a water system that's gonna work on the, the variety of source water comes the big key, right? Our water here, it's pretty good. You go out to a place that's on a well, it's a lot, a lot more minerals in the water. Getting too complicated, but that's the simple system. The ones that are more versatile, they're gonna work in all of the different environments, are systems that are designed and have uh, multiple stages to them. So the water travels through a path, goes through your first filter, goes through two reverse osmosis filters, then it goes through a deionizing filter, just like that resin there, that's what's in here. Why but, does that get me excited when you yeah. say that? <laughs> deionizing resin? Yeah, he says it goes through a double reverse osmosis filter. And I'm like, sounds like money to me, bitches. So what is this first filter again? This is a carbon sediment filter. Carbon so. sediment filter, mm -hmm. what does that do? Takes all the, part, the large stuff out of the water and also neutralizes the chlorine that's in the water. Okay, then? Then it goes through reverse osmosis. Gross layman. Yeah, okay, it goes through osmosis. reverse osmosis. What is, no, come on, what is that? Reverse osmosis is the process of a pleated membrane filter where the water travels through and only the purest water molecules actually make it all the way through the filter. So that takes out 90 to 95% of the impurities. Ah. And that all happens in here. Okay. Then the water travels over to the final wrench, which is a DI. Okay. And the water that's going to come into the DI is already... So that's a mini version of these bigger DI tanks. Exactly. And the reason the water goes through all these first is to make it super, super clean before it even goes... Correct. Why because, is it? well, filters are based on length of life is based on the number of gallons that they process, whereas the DI resin really depends on the amount of stuff that's in the water. So the more pure that the water is before, the, before it gets to the DI, the longer the DI is going to last. And the reverse osmosis is going to work for a certain number of gallons. You're looking in the hundreds of thousands, two, three hundred thousand gallons worth of water that they'll work on mm -hmm. before you have to replace them. It becomes a matter of economics. Simple system gets you going. Certain areas of the country where your water is really uh, decent quality coming out of the ground, the DI systems are a great way to go. Like when you start it up, great, no moving parts, easy to maintain, use it for a week, don't use it for a couple weeks, not a big deal. Get into more of a system. There's pieces that you need to maintain. Got to read the manufacturer's instructions. You're going to need to run water through them every couple weeks just to make sure that those filters stay fresh. Wow. And then from there, you can even get more sophisticated, like you were talking about the van mount systems. The one that we sell is the fill and go, and it has a, it has a holding tank with it. And you can process the water ahead of time. So if you get out to a job and there might be not water in a certain area, you can use that, multiple poles, a lot of sophistication. Basically what it means is it's set up in the truck, open the doors, pull the hose out, flip the switch and go to full stage filters, if I'm correct. You're correct. Your exactly water correct. Is cheaper. Exactly. Okay. Long term, it's always cheaper to go through the multiple stage systems. So much of it just depends on your usage. Okay. You know, and then also your water in your area. And all there's right. a variety of systems that are available too, but all are based on the same theme. Same theme. Mm -hmm. One more, uh, tell me about this one real sure. quick. That one just looks awesome. Yep, this is the newest one to us. This is the Tucker system. Same type of design where it has the multiple stages. So it has a pre-filter here that the water travels through. Then it goes through the reverse so osmosis. Water goes from the customer's mm -hmm. ticket through the pre-filter. Yep. Then. It exits here and goes through the reverse osmosis. Okay. And this one just has one long reverse osmosis chamber instead of the two that were on the other unit. 
Okay. Then it exits from there, travels through a DI cartridge, ah. and straight out to your pole. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, and these non-powered systems are going to get you up about 35 feet before you start needing a pump because in the reverse osmosis process, it does generate some back pressure on the lines. So they only get you up to about 35 feet. Now, how do you connect the pole to the system? Where's like a, the, the cable? Oh yes, the, uh... the old hose. So the hose has become the favorite in the window cleaning world is the, the nice skinny pole hose. Okay, yep, I have this of like 150 feet of it. Right, and 150 feet doesn't weigh very much, right? No, it's light. Right. Right, so after the job is done, because now on the job site, you start thinking about the logistics of how long it takes to set up, how long it takes to get the job ready to go. With a pole hose that's thin like this, it allows you to be able to coil this up. This is uh, probably 30 feet of hose right here. And you can easily put 100, 150 foot of hose on it, be able to coil it all up around your arm when the job's done, put it in the truck, shut the door, and uh, go, to the go to the next job. And so the more money we covered most everything here. When you get into the water fed products, you know, the brushes become a key. This is a uh, bore bristle. So like we were talking earlier, all the old timers love the bore bristle brushes. Yeah. These scrub really well. There's some new brushes that just came out this year. We don't even have in stock yet that have a hybrid. We have nylon bristles in the middle to give you a little bit of stiffness and then a nice soft bore around the edges. Does a great job because you do find that that's a lot of the energy that you have. So this is the, the Keith package, right? We put yeah. it together. This is kind of how Keith learned uh, the right tools from the time that he went to the retail store to when he came in and bought the pro things. You'll notice uh, little things like everything in here has a pivoting handle. This is literally exactly the same stuff that I use. And uh, I'm actually, yeah, this is all the same exact stuff that I use, so. Yeah, so you go through and you got your sizes of your squeegees. Why the different sizes? Well, again, sometimes you need to reach a little higher or you might have a smaller window. All of them have pivoting handles, gives you all that ability. Like we talked about efficiency on the job, you'll notice this is a belt, a tool belt. It's got loops on there so that you can stick Yeah, that's totally cloth get one of those. Right in there. I actually use different types of towels. I'll have like the blue huck towels in the front. I'll have the microfibers in the back. Then you can hang this right on the belt. And show them how it pivots. Sure. Well, this is that sidekick or the uh, ninja bucket on a belt. So the scrubber goes into here, and when this hangs on your side, it pivots. Yeah. So when you bend over, it's going to stay straight up and down to the ground mm -hmm. instead of some of them that uh, might want to tip over on you. Yep. When you're done with a job, you can actually disconnect this from your belt. It's got this nice ah, little male female okay. buckle. Allows you to be able to yeah, set this in the back of the truck. This also has got slots for the squeegees. So you put the squeegee handles right in there. Well, now you have everything that you need right on your person yep. to be able to go up there. You got your towels around your belt. You got your holster here. When you, uh, one of the other tools I know that you like to use too are the- Yes, I love using that. There's a pump spray bottle and then there's just a regular spray. Mm -hmm. And this holds, you know, the bottle goes on the side of your belt. You can put your solution right in there and then just jet it and mist it at the window. If you don't want to carry a bucket of solution in the customer's house, you can put it directly in here and work off that. And I know you mentioned the towels in passing, but talk about these towels because I know this is the towel of choice for window cleaners right here. Towels are the ones that have the looped fabric. This is like a, a non-looped fabric. So that gives you more of a abrasive rub when you rub the window and that's one of the keys to getting that water to come off easily. Yeah. You know, we talked about the buckets as well. Just how you have everything that you can put in one spot. So yeah. everything fits in there. You got your 18 inch scrubbers, you got all your squeegees, everything else can go right in there. This becomes your toolbox that you carry out to the jobs. This, I always have this on me. I actually put it in the loop of my belt. We talked about in passing, we talked about the scrapers too. Sometimes yeah. you do have a little tape or something that's on the glass. There are professional scrapers that you can buy. This is a six inch size helps to move you along a little bit faster on the job. Oh yeah, yeah. It can be a great tool though. To Sometimes it's just what you need to do. You try and scrub it off with every other method that you can. Heck, even on the monsoon scrubber, there's this little abrasive pad that's at the end. Yep. You turn the scrubber up on its end and give it some good oomph and that might take care of whatever yep. you have on the glass but if it doesn't you need something else the scraper is a, has been a tool of choice for the window cleaner for years mm -hmm. these are awesome tell me about these sure these are a microfiber towel so earlier when we were talking about how the towel has loops or doesn't have loops this is a matte finish or a low profile towel with no loops but it's microfiber i got dry hands this time of year when you rub it it like grips onto your fingers those are all small fibers that have all been split so that at a microscopic level, they're very, very fine, but it has that polishing cloth texture to where you don't get any residue. It doesn't just push the water, it actually absorbs it and pulls it off the glass. These things are a great towel. 
They're a little bit more expensive than what you might pay for other towels, but man, you can cover so much ground with it. Don't ever have to have any worry about any lint or residue behind. Sometimes you can even take a little bit of this, it's just damp, like you say, and wipe a, wipe a glass or wipe a spot on a glass where it maybe didn't come clean the first little bit. These things are definitely a professional grade tool as well. Yep, one of the last things we're talking about with the extension poles. And these are poles that are designed, you know, these are kind of the heights that Keith has found that did, Keith, you found that you needed to use on the job. This will get you up, you know, for at least your first story, maybe even your second story work. Nice and lightweight, easy to use around the job. You know, all of the tools are designed in the window cleaning world where they actually are designed to slip onto the top here. So now you're able to slip your squeegee onto there, yeah, do what so you need faster. to do. The pole is important and then also the right size pole because if you're in a confined space or you're trying to work out of a short car, this isn't exactly the best pole maybe to get in and out. The shorter poles that are gonna give you just the height that you need to reach up there and do the quick stuff. Like Joshua Landmer started out from the yes. tail <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. We helped him out too, it's, it was, it's great. And it's so many times the guys have actually started their business out washing windows out of a Honda Civic. Yes. So don't be uh, worried about where you're starting. It's more about where you're going in the business. Window cleaning can be a very good career for you to get into. You gotta invest in yourself, do some reach, research, watch Keith's videos, he's got a lot of good information. Uh, so much of it out there is you really need to learn how to do the technique of providing a glass to the customer. We've seen all types of people start over the years, guys that come in with a business plan, they're like, this is exactly how it's gonna go. And guys that start up, I remember the one guy walked in one day and said, well, I got my first job tomorrow and I've never washed a window in my life. <laughs> so you start out whatever you can, focus on getting work and then learning and perfecting your technique. You'll move as efficiently as you can out there, but it can be a real good profession, you know, honorable profession, good hard work, and you provide a great effect to your customers. Your customers are very grateful to see you and they're glad that you're there. Sponge. Yep. What is your website and phone number? The website is DetroitSponge.com and the phone number is 800-535-6394. Give us a call, somebody will be here answering the phone. We'll be glad to help you out. I just want to get the basic stuff that I use. Mm -hmm. We're gonna call it the Keith package and we're gonna have it all set up so that it's ready to go. And you'll be able to at least hit the ground running and know that you have the tools that you need to get started. But actually now becoming a professional window cleaner, business owner as a career and actually growing this thing out. And you actually got back from an event down mm -hmm. in Florida. Right. Tell us about that. Sure, once a year, there's an organization that's called the International Window Cleaning Association founded by window cleaners, run by window cleaners from all across the country, even some international guests that come together.